All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a video on this channel. What? My name is Wesley Scott, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing uh, Peter McKinnon. If you guys don't know Peter McKinnon, Peter McKinnon posted a video about doing a photo editing drill about re-editing a single photo five different times. And I thought this was a fun concept. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing the PM photo drill edit exercise thing. Let's go ahead and start off with the black and white. So I'm gonna go down, <clears throat> make it, you know, black and white. First thing I'm gonna do is just mess around with the highlights, um, maybe the shadows, bring those up, to make it a little bit more flat. Bring that down. Make a little S curve just to bring in some more contrast. Bring in those highlights, just to retain those a little bit. I'm gonna honestly bring up the exposure just a little bit to make it pop. And I'm gonna leave that there. Go ahead and just bring in some texture, clarity, a little bit of dehaze, a vignette. <clears throat> and grain, of course. Boom. And that is going to be the first edit for, uh, and that's gonna be the first edit on this photo, which is a black and white. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next one, which is a faded look. Um, so what we're gonna do first is just bring up the shadows and really create that faded look. Crush the whites as well. Just like that, I'm gonna bring down the highlights, bring down the contrast. Now I'm gonna bring up the vibrancy just a little bit, just to make it pop. All right, check the exposure. Boom, just like that, okay. Now I'm gonna go down to HSL and mess around with the colors a little bit. I'm gonna bring yellows over to orange. We're gonna go for kind of like a teal and orange here. Slide those over just a little bit more. If there's any blues, I do want them to pop. Bring this green, some of that fish I see. Bring that over the orange. Bring the red a little bit over the orange. Stuff like that. We're gonna go down to color grading too. I'm gonna throw some teal just ever so slightly in the shadows. And some orange in the mid-tones. And then I'll just slap on a little bit dehaze, kind of blend everything together. Boom, and that's gonna be my faded look. Maybe, well, let me just cool it off just a little bit. Boom, okay, and that's gonna be my faded look on this photo. Uh, kind of really flat and uh, smooth, if you will. A little teal and orange, I think it looks pretty nice. All right. Next up is the vintage. So let's see what I can do with this one. First things first. Um, first things first, I'm gonna bring down the contrast. Um, and really just create much more of a flat style. Try to bring in as much as dynamic range as possible. I'm gonna bring in just a little bit, um, just so the shadows aren't quite peaking. Stuff like that. Um, and to bring back the color, I'm just gonna boost the colors a little bit. Bring down the blacks, open up the shadows. It's looking a little too saturated. All right, just like that. Now I'm just gonna kind of desaturate each individual color, make sure nothing's standing out too, too much. And then in terms of blue, I'm gonna slide those over just a little bit. Maybe make those greens pop a little bit, bring up the luminance. And the reds, I'm gonna bring up the luminance as well. Um, just so it takes out a little bit of color. And then I'll put this back in overall with the slider. And bring down the texture, bring down the clarity a little bit. Introduce some grain. And just increase that a little bit more. 
put on a vignette. Just a little one, not too big. Introduce a little bit of green and stuff like that. Um, introduce a little bit of green as well. As kind of flatten it off, darken it down just a little bit like that. And I'm gonna lower the whites just a little bit and then bring up the overall exposure. And that's gonna be my vintage kind of filmic look on this. Next up on the list, we're gonna do my personal taste now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start just adjusting the shadows, lighting, highlights, contrast. Uh, just start at the top there. And I put it where I like it. Introduce a little bit of a curve, not too much. I don't love a whole lot of contrast in my photos, but a good amount is a good amount, you know? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring it down um, up top just a little bit. I'm gonna do something a little bit more up the shadows so they're just not completely crushed just like that. Okay. I'm gonna go down to HSL. Saturation is doing fine for me now. Um, bring over the blues just a little bit. I'm gonna saturate the blues a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more oranges. Just so everything's matching. Now this is where I really like to mess around with my photos and have a style on it is the color grading panel. Um, so for this particular image, I'm going to bring in some green in the shadows. I just adjust those, maybe darken them off just a little bit. In the mid-tones, I'm going to stick with my kind of oranges and yellows just to boost the skin tone. And then I'm going to bring in some yellow around <clears throat> and bring the bring in just a little bit of yellow around in in the highlights I'm gonna bring some yellows around the highlights I'm gonna go down to effects uh, bring up the texture just a little bit down the clarity dehaze kind of just adjust that to taste boom bring in some grain I'm really liking grain right now just the contrast one more time, and then we're gonna go over to our uh, red tone curve. I bring in just a little bit of teal into our shadows, and then just adjust the saturation to taste, just like that. So we're gonna drop the contrast a little bit more, even bring up this vibrancy. Boom, and we're gonna go ahead and end that there. So that's kind of my style of how I would edit this photo. Obviously I have presets that are a little bit different, um, but this is kind of how I would go around editing my own photo, just like that. And for our last edit on our image, we're gonna be doing a bright, clean look. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that. First off, I'm gonna, you know, just boost that exposure and really see how much dynamic range I can get out of this. Um, obviously, some things are going to be blown out. Overall, it's gonna be going to be looking pretty good. So I'm gonna bring the whites up as much as possible to where it doesn't look super blown out, but just really bright and contrasting punchy. I'm gonna throw those blacks down so it creates a lot of contrast. Just like that, bring that down just a little bit. So right around here, it's not blown out. All right, in terms of curve, we're gonna go over to tone curve. Just slide it down a wee bit. Bring this blacks back up just so it's not crushing. Do a slight S, just bring in a little bit more contrast. Slide some dehaze out of it, bring in a little bit of clarity, a little bit of texture. 
for a little bit of blues. Just a hint. Just a hint of blues. In the highlights, just to kind of clean it up. And that's gonna be it. It's probably one of the simplest ones, but that's just gonna be kind of my bright looking image. Um, something I might do is just kind of boost the orange juice just to give it a little bit of pop. Boom, just like that. That's gonna be my bright image, um, bright, clean, sort of street orange and gray brightness. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but cool. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Credit goes to Peter McKinnon for coming up with this idea. I just wanted to go ahead and go along with it and do this photo edit exercise drill. I thought it was super fun, so I thought it'd be a fun video to make. You guys go try it out. Some of your photos, if you try it out, would love to see your style and how you adjust and do your different styles. If you haven't watched Peter McKinnon's video yet on the photo drill, I'll go ahead and link it below. But other than that, guys, Please like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see further in this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Go drink some coffee, go be creative. Peace out.